Hi, I'm Craig Bell, and this is my small studio session. Hi, everyone. Welcome uh, to Craig Bell and Band today. I'd like to start with a song I wrote some years ago about my first car. Ironically enough now, a car that was made here in Indiana. I had no idea I'd be living here now, but it makes it a little bit more pertinent. It's called 62 Hawk. <laughs> Full of bucks, fake, borrowed, and stole. The items that took all my every used I had. I went looking for some iron, soon have to use my dad. Do this girl in my art 105. She liked my sketches, oh, but not my line. Needed a ride to satisfy this loss. She wouldn't go out if we took her bus, so oh, she was tough. Day, well, I found my dream. It was in a neighbor's yard in a patch of weeds. Had a turquoise interior. I threw exhaust. It was a Studebaker, baby. A 62 Hawk. It was a Hawk. 62 Hawk. It was a Hawk. Studebaker Hawk. I bought that Hawk. 62 Hawk. And you know I'd never find another like 62 Hawk. Yeah. I got some real pad and some turtle wax. I got four recaps and a tank of gas. Yeah, I drove my house and I hit the hole, but I tell you, it's never heard it. The wise who won't, it was a hog. 62 hog, it was a hog. Yeah, yeah, Studer make a hog. I watched that hog. 62 hog, and you know I never found another. That's 62 hog, yeah. And then the shots, well, they're shot. What do you want? It cost a hundred bucks. It was a hog. 62 hog. It was a hog. Yeah, I stood up and a hog. I love that hog. 62 hog. And I know you'd never find another. Like 62 hog, yeah. I knew it had to happen. After a while, that old 62 all rolled its last mile. Red sled go out of center and row. Now put a bullet through its block, and I walked on home by my hog. 62 hog, go by hog. Studer make a hog off that hog. 62 hog, can you know I'd never find another like 62? I said I'd never find another like 62 hog, yeah. had this band uh, back in the 1980s called Saucers. We put out a couple of singles out on the East Coast. Uh, this was the B-side of our second single, and it's called She's All Right. <laughs> It's Vegas attraction When she makes her feel inside I can't expect this reaction 
The girl just makes it feel alright When she's with me it's so exciting She touches me I start to swoon She kisses me it feels like lightning Strike it till I just don't know what to do Yeah she's alright, alright, alright She holds up the tight. Yeah, she's right, all oh, right, all right. I knew a lot of women before her. I always seem to let them down. But she knows I'm the performer. And she still likes to hang around. I don't know what to do if she leaves me. Don't know no one else who could please me. Feel the touch of my hand, yeah. I don't know that girl understand. That it's a right, all right, all right. Loves me all the day of the night. Crazy me, she holding me tight. She's right, all right, all right now. Know what to do if she leaves me. I don't know no one else who could please me. Gotta feel the touch of a hand, yeah. Gotta know that girl understand. 24 hours a day. I hate it when she goes away. I need a need a close to me, yeah. I need a need a need a to be, yeah. She's right, all right, right now. She's right, all 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 right, over here on my right, it's Brad Wallace on the keyboards and guitar. To my left is Nick Pryor on lead guitar. To my behind is Dusty Prevet. And we're the band. I'm Craig Bell. And here we are. Here's a song from uh, recently called My Chantelaine. <laughs> She's a peak of perfection. Yeah, she's a queen of it all. The sun and the moon, they're her beck and call. Yeah, she's so sure of herself. Yeah, she suffers no fools. And you can try to convince her. Oh, but she's over you now. She lives at the boiling point. I don't know where we met. I can't remember the day. She just grabbed up my heart. And then she dragged me away. Sometimes I don't know why I take it. Why I continue to stay. But then I look in her eyes. Oh, all I can say is, yes, my Chantelay.
fly away And now I'm trapped in a orbit I kind of like it that way Another song uh, recently written. I uh, hope to be recording this for our next album. This is called Let It Rain. <laughs> The raging whirlwind in my dark and fire. All emotions used up, nothing's left to feel. The howling inside tells me this is real. Fears of demons upon their rusted thrones. The rain is done now, salvation's come. It's time to face the storm, so let it rain. Let it pour out down. Oh, let it wash across my soul. Have one more. This is a new song. Uh, this will be our, our debut of this. I'd like to play it here for you now for the very first time, so I hope you enjoy it. This is called Out of My Mind.
can't get it out of my mind Think about it all the time Keeps me up at night Affecting my appetite Keeps on going round and round in my head Once it ends, it stops again And it won't stop, won't stop, won't stop Won't stop, oh no Out of my mind, I think about it all the time. It worked into my brain, and I'll drive at me insane. Keeps on going round and round in my head. Once it ends, it stops again, and it won't stop. Won't stop. Won't stop. Won't stop. Won't stop. Oh, no. Everybody wants to be 007, I don't get it, but it's so. Everybody wants to be 007, I don't get it, but it's so. Craig Bell, this is the band, Nick, Brad, and Dusty. We thank you very much for having us. Well, Craig, can you just first off start off, just introduce yourself, your band, and give a little history, kind of a brief history of your yourself as a musician. All right, thanks so. a lot. <laughs> Eric, don't, don't put me on the spot. Sure, yeah. <laughs> right away, let me, let me think, what, what have I done? Anyway, uh, this band uh, that we're playing with today is the uh, newest iteration. Uh, it's just Craig Bell now and, and uh, his band. Uh, Nick Pryor and uh, Brad Wallace, uh, pretty well known around town. Their days in the Slurs and uh, Gitmos. And Dusty Brevet played in a lot of bands, currently working with um, Donnie Baker. And as, as Nick is in the Pork Pistol, so we've got some really great players you know, in this band. We've been together about a year, and uh, it's just been getting better and better. I'm really, really lucky to have such good players. But my time here, I've been, uh, been playing on the scene here in, in Indianapolis for about 10 years now. My previous band, The Down Fi, uh, playing in that and also in Deason. I had a short stint with the reformed Gizmos here a couple of years ago. But uh, my history from that goes back to my days in Connecticut previous to that. I came here in 1989 from uh, New Haven, Connecticut. I lived out there for about 13 years. I had my band Saucers, which we played a couple of songs from Saucers in that era here today, uh, along with some newer ones, whether the, you know, the Down Fi and, and uh, this band have done. So for the past 10 years, I've been playing around town. Uh, previous to that, I moved here from Connecticut, and that was... Uh, with the down with um, 
saucers. And I get so confused yeah. with saucers and the Bell System. Uh, put out a couple records back in those days. And uh, previous to that, I lived in Cleveland, Ohio, where I started playing music. I was in some early bands in the early 70s, uh, Mirrors and uh, Rocket from the Tombs, which garnered some uh, history about them and some status that now... Uh, when Rocket got back together in 2002, it really uh, gave my, me a much more uh, upgraded profile in the world. And I've been able, because of that, to tour, play a lot of shows uh, around the U.S. Uh, and uh, been very grateful. And so based on your history and being these different bands, you know, over 40 plus years playing yeah. music. I mean, when you were forming this current version of the Craig Bell Band and what were you looking for? I mean, what kind of sound did you want to present to people? Well, the sound I always felt was my sound was the guitar and keyboard lineup. It was uh, took a long time to find a keyboard player here in Indianapolis. It, it doesn't seem to be a keyboard player town, and anybody who does play keyboards in this town is busy. Luckily, uh, matched up with Brad, and I think that that's really is what made this band take off. We, uh, something I wanted to do with the Down 5, but we never could get it together to uh, get a permanent keyboard player. So now that in this iteration, I'm very happy you know, because this is the sound I was looking for. I like the sound of keyboards and guitars together. Um, sort of it fits the kind of music I write. And when um, you recently have, in the past few years, you mentioned the revival of Rocket from the Tombs, the band that you're in in the past, I guess, 15, 18, 16 years they've yeah. come back. Mm -hmm. You've also had records, your own record, um, a solo record of um, archival recordings. Um, a, a Craig Bell album came out two years ago. And then just recently, your older band, The Saucers, had a reissue come out as well. How do you kind of balance, I guess, that historical um your history with your new new music. I mean, are, are people showing up your show just wanting to hear the songs you're you're known for from those bands? A lot of people know Muckraker and Final Solution from Rocket from the Tombs. Some people know some earlier songs from uh, the days with Mirrors. And surprisingly, now some people actually know songs from the Saucers era, which was the 1970s. But mostly, I think, when I'm out there, people are coming because they know my name, and they know a little bit about Rocket, but they're presented with what I do, which is slightly different, but, but still similar to that stuff. And uh, it seems like it's been uh, something that people have been very receptive to. And uh, as do they come for those songs, they respond more to those songs, but they seem to get a good response to everything. Uh, they they come for the experience. When you look back, what would you say? I guess is the first record you heard that w made you want to be in a band on stage. The uh, the thing that made me want to be in a band wasn't a record so much as it was a movie. When Help and Hard Day's Night and stuff like that came out, almost every British band had a movie about them. And there was this band called Jerry and the Pacemakers did a movie called, uh, I don't know if the title was It's Gonna Be All Right or Ferry Cross the Mersey, but my friend Dave Davis and I in Lakewood, Ohio, on a Saturday afternoon, sat through that movie like four times. And when we came out of that theater and we were walking back home, we turned to each other and we said, I wanna be in a rock and roll band. I was probably 13, 14 years old at that time. My father was not going to let me own a guitar. He always told me, if you're going to be a musician, you're going to play a real instrument. So I played the trombone, which I sucked at. Then I played the clarinet, which I also sucked at. And then I decided, well, that's not going to work. So I started hanging around with people that had bands. And it wasn't until I graduated from high school and moved out on my own that I said, oh, now I can be in a band. So there was like a five, six year process of from the time I decided I wanted to do that till I actually joined my first band Mirrors in 1971. And, uh, but I knew from that point that that's what I wanted to do. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but it um, seems like I figured it out because I'm still here doing it after all these years. And that's what I want to ask you. I mean, when you were playing with the Mirrors or Rocket from the Tombs, did you imagine you would still be playing in your late 60s? Not to get not I, to give away your age, but I, I mean, didn't, that you thought I, that. I'm 66. Yeah, I'm six, kind of okay. amazed that I'm <laughs> still playing. You know, as at my age, because I have a lot of friends who physically 
maybe a bit younger than me, a bit older, but physically they can't do this anymore. And I feel sorry for them because I know in their hearts they really want to, but it's just, you know, there's things that have prevented them. So I feel very lucky that I can do this, that I have the ability to do this now. Um, but I didn't really think about being 60. I, I remember when I was younger, the main thing I always thought about was, oh, in 2000, I'm going to be 48 years old. You know, and I thought, wow, 48, man, that's something. Man, that was so long ago now that it's uh, it's kind of amazing. And I don't think about, you know, the age. I'm just, I think about just the ability to do it. And I'm very happy that I can do that. When you go out on the road, I know you tour a lot and you meet bands that have been influenced by you. How does that, how does that feel? I mean, are these bands that you see them and you're like, oh, they're doing something new? Or do you think a lot of bands kind of take what you did previously and just regurgitate that? Are, are, you, are you excited by people you're seeing? I'm or? excited by seeing new bands that are doing things that, that strike me as interesting. It, it could, you know, it can sound like something else, but if they've got that little something that's going on for them, uh, it's, it's, very, it's very exciting to see new bands. I can think of some off the top of my head, like Ray's out in Oakland, California, a great band, the, telling me, oh, we were heavily influenced by Rockets, we're heavily influenced by this stuff, and that makes me feel really good. It makes me feel good that you know people were out there listening. It's very obvious as, uh, in those last few years that a lot of people are aware of this, and I am... I'm humbled by it. You know, I've had a lot of people come up to me and tell me what what Rocket from the Tombs or Mirrors or even Saucers meant to them, and it makes me feel really good because there was a, a period of time where I wasn't sure, and I'm sure every musician, every musician has that thought in their head that what they're doing is just going out into the universe and just being lost. And I, I can tell you for a fact that it's not, you know, and um, it's a great feeling. So don't stop. 